I kind of like viral video games. You know, the stuff that gets insanely popular because people like to share it on this small little indie site. I think it's called YouTube, but I'm not sure though. When I say viral video games, I mean games that have skyrocketed in popularity. Fortnite, Minecraft, Undertale, Doki Doki, Arts and Crafts Club, whatever it's called. I have no idea. I don't know how to pronounce Literally. it. They just always have something fun going for them. A thing that makes them stand out from the crowd. Let's take um, Bodies Basics as an example. Example. This looks like someone took a dump on a piece of paper and called it a game. It looks straight up ass. If you would present this ID to a game publisher, you would get thrown out of a goddamn window. All the character sprites are drawn by a three-year-old. You can only look left and right and not up and down just like Doom. The gameplay is repetitive, but... But? The game is made like this on purpose. Baldi's Basic is made in a game jam. It isn't meant to be sold for X amount of quid. It was made for fun and people just really liked it and made 70,000 let's plays of it. Is it the best game ever made? Um, uh, no, it's uh, kind of bleh. But you can't compare this to something like Mario Odyssey. It's just not fair. I see this game more as art. You look at it and go, okay, well, that looks dumb as shit. But then you decide to look more into it, searching for reasons for its existence. You start to snoop around for hidden Easter eggs and clues. Getting involved in the lore and starting to puzzle a story together with missing pieces. I really like stuff like this. It brings people together and they form communities starting all these weird theories. It makes people happy which I really like to see. Of course there's a certain part of any community that is just god awful. Go watch this video you actual ape. This is how viral games come to life. Most of them are quite weak but they have one thing just one single thing that they just nail. They master it so goddamn well that it gets people hooked. So what makes Baldi's Basics special, you may ask? Well, it's a weird game. Um, yeah, that that's it. The, the game is pretty weird. Yeah, it's, it's disappointing, I know. Let's take a look at another example. Five Nights at Freddy's. The king, you may say. Not the most successful one for sure. That title goes to Minecraft. But goddamn, did this game have an impact online. Again, here, the gameplay of all of these games is pretty mediocre and not extremely exciting. But that isn't what carried it. It's the concept of this gigantic cryptic story that Scott Cawthon has been trying to tell to us for over six years. A single story about kids being stuffed in robotic animal suits spread over 11 games with more to come. Now personally I'm not the biggest fan of FNAF. I prefer Baldi's Basics over this and you know this game's kind of poo poo. However I do respect it. I do not hate Five Nights at Freddy's. I get the appeal of it. I understand why people are so hooked and it's simple. They enjoy it. There is a very specific reason why these type of games grow so big. And you don't have to like them. I'm pretty sure a big portion of people fucking hate them just because it's popular. If you don't like it, ignore it. I don't understand what's so hard about that. Then again, I've complained about certain things plenty of times. The reason why I like viral games so much is not because of the games themselves. But what the internet does with it. Fan art, animations, theory videos, top 10 songs. This music video is a bop. I'm not even lying, it's a masterpiece, please go watch it. And again, there's that weird part of every single community that you shouldn't jump into, just ignore it. Every single fandom will have one, no matter what. So stop crying and enjoy what you wanna enjoy. And subscribe to Foco on YouTube.com and join his funny Discord. Except this one, I fucking hate this shit.